y'all, welcome to Donna's Farmhouse Kitchen. Well, it's been a little while. I've been a little under the weather, so um, I'm trying to get back into making some more recipes, and um, we're wearing our matching aprons that Miss Gina gave us, so thank you, Miss Gina, for these wonderful aprons. Say thank you, Miss Gina. Thank you, Miss Gina. We are going to make a lemon shortbread cookie today. We're gonna to get started with a half a cup of granulated sugar. You ready to help me? We're gonna just dump it right in. And then three teaspoons of lemon zest. What? I don't want lemon. <laughs> she was uh, tasting, she was tasting some lemon zest earlier and uh, didn't like that taste. That's, I promised her that she would like it later. Yeah. Then we're gonna go ahead and add in two sticks of butter. This is unsalted butter. Wanna help me? See if I can bring this towards you a little bit better. And go ahead, pop it in. And throw it over there. As you can tell by my voice, I'm still not there yet. It's been a long journey. There you go, buddy. And about a half a teaspoon of kosher salt. Mix this together. and scrape down your sides. We're gonna add in one egg yolk. Mm, so eight, there's an eight. Hey, that was my waterfall. <laughs> it look like a waterfall? Yeah. And two teaspoons of fresh squeezed lemon juice. Ready? Lemon juice? Mm-hmm. Are you sure that's lemon juice? Mm-hmm, oh, I'm sure. Yeah, you can squeeze it in there. Yep. Yeah. Scrape down your sides. And the bottom, don't forget the bottom. Now we're gonna add one and a half cups of unbleached flour. You ready? Okay. Put it over here. Looks like a mountain. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that was my beach and that was my mountain of snow. Okay, we're gonna start off on low and mix this up. Now that we have it incorporated, we're gonna bump this up to medium and bring the dough together. So we want a lightly floured surface. You don't wanna to put too much flour down. We're gonna shape this out to a rectangle. Yeah, I'm gonna start. I wanna make store. You can see the lemon zest and it looks so yummy. Hey, that was my lemon. Hey, Nani, that was my lemon. Yeah. Why cookie monsters so like it. That was my game. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm. Hold on. Let's try to get as much as we can. Like, gently press it down. Gently. Okay, I'm gonna bring it up. That's pretty. Okay, you wanna do another one? Gently. Okay, do another one. Do another one. Go ahead, baby. Gently. Okay. Do another one. Gently. Wait, a sun. Yeah. We're gonna re-roll a lot of this dough because I didn't like the way that it was coming out. So let me get
make sure that you um, always dip it in the flour. I don't like the way this dough is coming out. I think that it needs to be chilled for a little bit and then come back and make the cookies. I don't think the recipe that I'm going by is um, correct on this because the cookies, once you try to get them up, they lose their shape. And so I am going to chill the dough in a nice disc and then I'm gonna come back and roll it out and make some cookies. Well, I lost my partner in crime. She's with Papa right now. You're probably gonna hear her in the background laughing. Her laugh is so contagious. I've had it in the refrigerator for an hour or more. I've got a different rolling pin too. I have this little one. See if I can get it rolled out. Going back to my other rolling pin. I think I can get it better. We wanted about a fourth of an inch in thickness. Make sure that you dip it. Okay, start cutting them out. Oh yeah, that's much better, much easier to deal with, and you get a pretty cookie. Now, mind you, I am going to put these back in the refrigerator before I bake them. I don't want them real heavy with the flour. But we're also gonna prick them uh, before we put them in the refrigerator. See, that's coming out much better. Look how pretty. Some of them are gonna be prettier than others, but it's all good. So I'm gonna keep doing these until I get all of the cookies made. Then I'll come back and show you what I'm gonna do next. So here are some of the cookies. This is not all of them, but this is some of them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make little prick holes with my skewer. So the steam will come out and you will have these little pockets on top uh, that some cookies can have. So you just, Pricking them, making little prick holes. So I'm gonna keep doing this and then I'm gonna put them back in the refrigerator because I want them to hold this cute little shape from the cookie cutter. So, as you can see. So, I will come back and we will bake them. So the cookies are ready to go in the oven. They've been sitting in the refrigerator for about 20, 25 minutes. And so they're ready to go in a 300 degree oven. And bring them back out and then we're gonna glaze them with a nice yummy lemony glaze. I'm gonna bake them for about 20, 22 minutes until they get nice and golden brown on the bottom. In the meantime, let's go ahead and make that yummy lemony glaze. So I have a cup of powdered sugar. I have about a tablespoon of lemon zest. So I think I, in total, I think I zested four lemons for both the cookies and this yummy lemony glaze. And I just wanna whisk it together. And then we're gonna start adding some lemon juice. So I'm 
just really eyeballing it. That was probably like a teaspoon. But we want this kind of thin. Whoa, that may be too much. Okay, maybe, maybe not. I wouldn't uh, put it in quite that fast. Even though this is the consistency that I'm looking for. Now you can always add more powdered sugar. I do have mine on the side in case I need it. But I don't think I will. I think this is the exact consistency that I'm looking for. Kind of runny. That lemon zest is gonna be so good. It's so good in the cookie, but it's gonna be so good in this glaze. Yeah. So I'm just gonna let this sit. We're gonna wait on the cookies and then we will come back and let them cool and then put this glaze right on top. I'm gonna go ahead and put the glaze inside of one of my piping bags. And I'm ready for them to go on top of the cookies. I'm going to go ahead and snip a tiny hole, not too awfully big, in the bottom. Now you can use a number three tip if you want to, but I really don't think it's going to be necessary. And number three may be a little too small, depends on some of the lemon zest. It may clog it up. This way I have a little bit more control um, over it. I can always snip the bag some more if I need to. So here we go. We're all ready to go. And then, like I said, I'll just snip it upside down and then slowly start glazing the cookies. So that's ready. So the cookies have cooled down a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and instead of like Barney says, nip it, I'm gonna snip it. So let me go ahead and snip this. Let's snip it enough where it's going to flow, like I said, easily. So let me go ahead, I'm gonna get started on these. These are a little bit cooler. Just gonna drizzle some in the middle. Probably take a spoon and spread it out. Just wanna get a little bit in the middle. Some of them are more brown than others because some of them are more thin, thin than others. Work it around with a spoon like that. Just go in a circle. That'll do the job. It's not dry yet, but I'm going to go ahead and do a taste test on the ugly one. Mm. Now, some of these, as you can tell, did not get real brown on the bottom. It's okay. It didn't hurt them. Mm. And the longer these sit, the better they're going to taste, just like any other baked good. So I hope you will try these cookies and make them for your family, make them for your friends. And thank you for sticking in there with me, waiting for me to do another video. And um, I hope uh, you have a wonderful night. Bye-bye.